many should you be watching this week as there's some big names that are reporting? I put together five of the top stocks you should be watching. These are some of my favorites, but what's happening here in 2022 with some of these? Can you get some deals on some of these top companies? Let's dive right in and see. So the first company has to be Tesla, ticker TSLA. And we're in a rare period where the shares are actually down 41% year to date. Over the last five years, as you can see, they're still up big, up over 1,100% during that time period. So if you're a long-term Tesla shareholder, the pain hasn't been that bad. But on the shorter term, you have more concerns. It has beat six times in a row. So that's pretty impressive because as you can see with the red arrows earlier in 2018 and 2019, uh, misses were common amongst in Tesla back in the day. But things have changed here. And, um, you know, people believe and the company is putting out the product. So what will happen this earnings report nobody seems to know pe is still at 51 so it's still not really a cheap stock but will these shares come down further and then be a little bit more attractive for people who haven't gotten in the stock yet we will see then we're going to switch over to the semiconductors with lamb research this one is uh, has a great earnings surprise track record with just the two misses in the last five years. But one of them did come here in 2022 because of all the problems and the issues facing the industry. Shares are down big here, down 56 percent year to date. P uh, Lamb Research is cheap, no doubt about it, on a P.E. basis with a forward P.E. now of 8.7. But Will more surprises be in the making? Are those earnings going to slide further in this semiconductor down cycle? It's possible. So uh, this is one I'm going to be watching and the street is definitely going to be tuning into. But even if it beats again, not sure it's going to get much of a bounce. It depends on the guidance, obviously. But uh, this is one that you know is going to be high on the list this week. Then we're going to switch over to the transports with Union Pacific. It has put together a nice earnings surprise little streak here of five in a row. But year to date, these shares also down 23 percent. It's brought the P.E. down quite a bit, down to just 16.8. That's the cheapest I've seen this railroad in quite some time. Uh, it also pays a dividend yielding 2.7 percent. So the dividend's getting a little bit more attractive, too, as the shares have pulled back. But what are the rails going to say? This is the first of the big rails to report this week. We're also going to get CSX. So we're going to get the double whammy there. We should have a good idea of what, you know, this the rest of this year looks like and possibly outlook on 2023. So this is a big one and I'm going to be tuning in. Then we're going to see one of the big retailers, Tractor Supply for life out there. This is the rural retailer, TSCO is the ticker. They have a tremendous earnings surprise track record going. Once the pandemic started, they have either, either met or beat pretty substantially. So 10 beats in a row. That last miss there in 2020 was just before COVID hit. So you can't even blame that one on COVID. But year to date, these shares are, are weak, but not as bad as some of the others, down about 17%. And they're holding on most of those five-year gains up 270% over those five years. That's pretty impressive for a retailer, but it is considered to be one of the top retailers. Now, they did just announce that they have... Uh, acquired Orchelon, Orchelon Farm and Home, and they're going to get 81 stores, mostly in the Midwest, through that acquisition. So they're still growing. Many people in the big cities have never heard of Tractor Supply, but uh, they are one of the big retailers out there in the more rural and smaller towns in uh, the United States. So Tractor Supply is going to be one of the bellwethers for retail. What will they say? We will soon see. And then we're going to wrap it up with one of my favorite on the consumer side, Poolcore, ticker P-O-O-L. Maybe you've never heard of it, but it is one of the best performing stocks in the S&P 500 over the last 30 years. 
And as, as you can also see, it had a huge rally going into 2022 as what were we doing during the pandemic? We were putting in pools and they are one of the big pool retailers uh, in the United States, or I should say all of North America and Australia. So they, um, you know, had that market cornered, but people getting a little bit worried about the slowing global economy, recession, everybody's already put in their pool, how many more people are there to put it in, and the shares have pulled back pretty dramatically this year, down 46%, even though there's still the five-year track up 300% over the five years. Now, this stock used to be very expensive ending 2021, used to trade at like 30 or 40 times earnings, now it's trading at 16 times, but will these earnings uh, be, you know, pulled in? Will they those contract? So it could be a bit of a value trap here. Dividend is yielding 1.3%. I still love this area. Uh, pools aren't going away, right? And they are one of the big ones in the industry. So I'm not betting against them, but the shares could still see further decline here while we uh, see if the consumer is going to pull back further into 2023. So this is one that you might not want to be in during a recession, but you would want to be in on any recovery out of that recession. So keep it on your watch list and watch it this week because this is going to be a big a play on what is happening with the consumer. So you can see we're already getting some of the bigger bellwether type companies in addition to Netflix reporting on the FANG stocks. This is a busy week, but it's really going to pick up next week. And so I'm going to be bringing you some more earnings all-stars videos next week when we're getting hundreds of companies reporting and many of the key S&P 500 companies. What are they? I'll be bringing them to you all throughout earnings season. So be sure to subscribe. You can get us on zax.com slash YouTube and follow me on Twitter at, at Tracy Reinick, just at my name, so you can get even more earnings charts. I'm going to be tweeting out all of these charts throughout the entire earnings season. So be sure to get us somewhere, and I'll see you again next week with a lot more earnings all-stars.